Hi everyone, welcome back to this session. Today I will explain you about how to use JSON function in Python. Before starting with actual content, let's understand agenda of today's session. Today we will discuss about what is JSON, how we will use it in JSON, JSON in Python, and what is the actual or real life scenario which we can see or use in programming for using JSON in Python. Then by using one example, I will show you how we will use it JSON in Python and how to perform the operation using Python. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with actual content of today's session. So first of all, what is JSON? So JSON is a syntax for storing and exchanging data. So basically when we are working with critical data, it's always recommended to use ABI system. So for API system, JSON is very much demandable to transfer the data from one place to other place. So JSON is a text written and JavaScript object notation which we can see that the full form of JSON is JavaScript object notation is a popular data format used for rep representing structured data. It's common to transmit and receive data between server and web application in JSON format. So as I said, API is also a part of this. So for writing or for using JSON in Python, we have to import the function to work with JSON string or file containing JSON object. We have to use Python JSON module. We need to import the model before we can use it. So let, let me show you how we can do that. So for this, we have to write import function, then JSON. After that, we have to write our code. For writing our code, let's me create one program and then I will show you how we'll use it in Python. So after import JSON, let me define one variable here name equal to or p name that is person name or person detail so it's in json format so now this is in curly braces and after that in between double quotes name then name is Deepak post that age age is also in between double quotes and colon because it's numeric we are not giving in double quotes. Then space location that is also in double quotes colon and location is Mumbai. Now it's done. Close the curly braces. Then function a equal to JSON dot loads P 
speech detail. The result is a Python dictionary. We will get it. So let's print this. Print a in between that I am going to declare the age. Let's print this and see how is the result looks. So you can see age is printed and I am getting 30 from here. We can also directly define the value. You can see all the values printed and it was defined in JSON. We have provided here the data in JSON format. Same we have printed here. So if I want to convert from Python to JSON, we have to Python objects. We can convert it into JSON string by using JSON dot dumps. So we have the data in our Python object that is in the dictionary format convert into JSON. So without loading, if I want to convert it, so I am using here dumps function and the data which we have declared here and then I will print it. So you can see here I got in JSON format. So normally JSON format is uh, printing like in this format. It's a DOM which we have converted in JSON format. We can convert Python object of the following types into JSON string like dictionary, list, tuples, string, integer, float, true, false and none. So all these value we can convert it like in the C format. So similar way we can also perform several other operations. So like if I want to call the value or call the data from any server then we can use this type of format in our real life scenario. So Python JSON to dictionary if I want to convert. So we have to declare the very value which we have declared here like this and then we have to call the inside the dictionary and then we can print it. Python also reads the JSON data which which we can define in the Python. So let's understand how we can convert the dictionary value. We have already provided the detail here. So in this detail, we will convert to data inside the dictionary like P. I am giving here as a dict equal to json dot loads and the data we have declared p detail after that if i want to print the dictionary value i will get the data in dictionary type so let me print this Print p dict p dict. I am deleting this one. Now you can see all the data I've got it in dictionary value. Dictionary value means if I want to provide two location here, then also I can do that so Mumbai is one and second location I am giving here as a India
then square bracket close let's run this now you can see i got in the dictionary format means i am getting two values for one object so by this way we can read the data as well so if we are having some other files which will declare the data and we want to call and we have to provide the file path and from there we can read the data from one file to our detailed file so this is all a pretty much about using json in python hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching